Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another wonderful day of Charlotte Wars Adventure in Starmaid here. Okay, so what's going on? Well, if you notice, the lighting to me looks a tad better. I think they've done some fixes to that. It's kind of, was it, we're at version 199.161, I think, at the moment. Uh, they've been doing a lot of updates. They're, they've been doing a lot of optimizations and all that fun stuff. So, I've been busy. I went through my base and I've been kind of just replacing the roof. I've been fixing that. I just put these hazard blocks beside these blocks here so that way that would look cool. Okay, we're back in gravity. I finished off these kind of storage blocks here, down here, of course. I think if you're watching through my videos, you'll know all this stuff. But yeah, there's kind of like a little access area down here to all the storage here. I think that looks pretty cool. I like doing things like that. Just kind of little you know, useless decorative things like that sometimes. Just to add a little bit of flavor. Of course, there's nothing behind this door here. <laughs> nothing yet anyways I finished off the wall I kind of have it like this I don't know if I like it like that but it kind of looks cool because down over here if you notice we have the lights every so often so I'm not too sure I'm not too sure if I'm gonna change that from just gonna leave it like that I think I have all the lights and the roof that I need I think it all looks okay that they're all relevant it all needs to be where it needs to be so yeah, so this is cool, this is cool. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to deactivate a lot of this stuff, right? Because we don't really need production of all of these right now. We're going to move our production because the plan is to go exploring today. And today we want to go and find a derelict to purchase. Let's see, how much money do I have? I have 47 million. I'm not sure if that's even enough, but I'm hoping it is. Otherwise, I need to go harvesting for some more materials. Then I'll need to sell those materials to have more money, and then we can try and buy. But I think with that money, we can go and try and buy a derelict. One that's not too large, but one that should be within that range. At least I hope so. <laughs> I hope so. So let's just deactivate these. So that way, we, we maximize the power generation for our shield system. I will show you the shield system. I kind of want to put screens... In here, you saying what the the area is, but I'm not too sure if I'm going to do that now. I should have made this one more higher than I could have had a spot for that up above each of the doors. So, but that's part of the learning experience. This is the the shield generation room. So yeah, I I completed it. I put the power generator under here for another power generation. The build blocks will stay in certain spots of the base because I think they're useful in different areas, and they. They're almost like a decorative block themselves, I find. So yeah, so yeah. See, the lighting still needs work. I'm not sure why it does stuff like that, but that bugs me. <laughs> but then this way it looks fine, right? So yeah. Oh, Star Maid, Star Maid. You remind me of Minecraft so much. Maybe that's why I like this game, because it just it's it's a lot like Minecraft. Let's see, let's go check our. Okay, this is our typical cargo let's go look into here I just want to see if there's anything I can transfer so these are all the components that we have of quite a bit but I don't think we have let's see dolom we could create dolom to sell but I think I need that maybe dolom looks like concrete um, yeah we got enough stuff in here I think these are all kind of stuff from pirates that we've accumulated, right? If you remember that. I might take this with me just to have it because it doesn't need to be in here. And then we can maybe, yeah, maybe we can do that because this would be kind of neat to add some of this stuff as decoration on the base, on the, the, uh, so my plan basically is to create, is to buy a star, like a star base of some sort, an abandoned one, a derelict one. And then I was going to dismantle chunks of that, and I was just going to recreate in that same spot, because you need to have kind of like a star base for it. I was going to recreate in that same spot, basically, a new star base for my faction, right? For for the Demurian Empire, right? So, yeah, so that's kind of the plan I was going to have. 
we should have an undefinator in here. We do have one. Let's grab actually kind of 24 of these to have 25. So that's cool. Okay, so yeah. So we're going to go. So let's go to our teleporter and teleport away. Oh man, this is awesome. I like the teleportation. It's pretty cool. It's pretty fun. And I'm still not done with this base. It, it's pretty much done, but... It's not. I want to move the faction module down here. So let's actually do that. What happens when we take out a faction module? Or can I place another faction? Ah, let's, yeah, let's do that. Can I place another faction module? So let's, let's see about that. Ooh, go back down. Oh, uh, there we go. Okay, so where do we want to put the faction module? Let's, let's, let's select it. Okay. Let's put one on top of one of these columns here. This one right here. Okay, so you can only put one. Okay, so what happens if we remove the faction module? Does everything go schizo? So let's actually experiment. Let's see. So if I take this away. Okay, cool, cool, cool. But we're still in the base because I think it still considers ownership. Uh, okay, this is our door entry, so let's actually put it like where I wanted to, right here. And then, yeah, like that, we go enter faction signature, and make faction home. Okay, so that's cool, that's cool. So, all worked, so that's what we would have to do to switch those. Do I put, or do I put a great thing like this? Maybe this will look better. Yeah, it doesn't work well. Is, do I have... Oh, I do have white lights. So I got these from the pirates, but basically they're little light rods. And I wonder if we can use these. Like so. Let's see if they work well. Whew. That really brightens up the area. Maybe too bright? Maybe. Maybe there's enough lighting in here already. Yeah. I'm going to keep it at that. So let's teleport right onto the ship. So this is the cool thing I like about about uh, the personal cargo is because you can set any storage to be that personal cargo. So at the the derelict base, we're gonna assign a new one there to be our cargo or main cargo. So we're gonna have to kind of interconnect all of the storage containers and everything in such a way so that way, then eventually they make their way to my my personal storage, right? Which can then kind of you take from everything you need, you just type in what you need, and it'll transfer everything into that that box. So yeah, so let's go on a little wonderful teleportation trip. Whoop! Yeah, yeah, I love that. And you can go here to align to the ship. There's gravity fields in the ship now, so now we can access anything. So this is a, the the personal storage. Now this one, I think, is connected. Yeah, I think this thing should be connected to this so that way I can pull from this side to this side but it's more of an active like an active connection thing this is more my personal storage at the moment eventually these both will be storage but I figured I needed a personal there is storage in this little personal device up here so what this little piece here is kinda like it's docked on top and the reason I have this is this is the original runabout or the original ship I had to build this big one so it has its home in here just to keep for for keepsake it does have a jump drive on it so it's kinda like one of those your first capable ships I kinda wanted to keep it and it does have storage in here but it's a tiny amount of storage it's basically these empty spots in here right so that's what that is it's all connected to the ship up here and it's not really meant to undock it's meant to be you kept dock or kept dock it's meant to be you docked all the time. So yeah, so I'm gonna grab a drink here. I forgot to tell you all to grab your drinks and your tasty treats. Oh yeah, just some water, some water today. So I put these light rods in here and I think they work. They kind of lighten up the area in here. I can't remember if I've really shown off the ship, but I put in all of these things just to see how they work, the new decorative blocks, and I think they work in certain spots. It's kind of cool here. The guests can see kind of like any kind of information about the system, the planets, whatever. Da 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 da. And there's a 
There's still a hatch up here. There always will be a hatch. Just I think just in case we're outside of the ship. So there's access from each side, the front, the back, and the top. So there's enough. I might put more in here. I might not. I don't know. I might put. I might put something on each side of these. I don't know. Maybe there'll be other blocks to put. It's kind of difficult to to put stuff because I'm not that decorative. So, and I think yeah, that's the outside wall. I know. I liked how this all looks and how it all fits together. I kind of built the interior, and then we have all this stuff here. I'm just kind of walking through, walking through. Of course, we're gonna go exploring, but just, ah, this is just so cool. Yeah, this is the front kind of viewing port with, with more seating. I just love that. It's so awesome. We have the, the cool like shield generation on each side of here. There's even pockets of of spaces on the ship still, so we can still expand the ship. There's a Bobby AI, so that way we can uh, type ship, so see, so aim at um, any, just select a target maybe, or maybe just anything. It's not active, so I'm not sure if you have to make it active to make it work. I'm not sure how the fleet stuff work, but you know, that's the purpose of the Bobby AI is to make sure that, that this can integrate within a fleet. And let's sit down here. I don't have a chair. I might make a little chair to sit on, and then we you can enter the core. And, yeah, so there's a couple gaps in here. I think there's 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 a spot in here for more components, which is nice, all the way up around here so we got a big area here and then on this side here uh, this is the back I don't think there's anything in the back here so it's just up here yeah there's these two bigger spots here so I'm thinking of adding some more modules on to to change I might add another missile system and I was going to change kind of like these four missiles here I was going to change him to a dumb fire missile, so that way I can kind of just fire a missile and it should hit whatever is in front of me. So more for bases and stuff. I've added these kind of force field thingies to the 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 docks. I think that looks pretty cool. And yeah, okay, the ship has turned out quite nicely. I like the 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 minimalistic approach with the red. I'm not sure if I'm going to add more up here or something. Uh, when I get creative, maybe I will. I might add like a stripe that goes down this way and over this way or something along the top. Kind of similar to that stripe. I don't know. Or maybe that's just it. So yeah, so there we go. So let's get into our flight mode. Everything is ready to go. Let's turn our radar jammer on. Let's undock. Okay. And up we go. Gonna have to change the view because we don't see anything. Uh that's bottom view. Cool. Okay, we're in space. Okay, so the ship handles pretty well. Uh, I do need to add more thrusters, I feel, but I don't know. Okay, so let's go into our map and take a look. Wow. Okay. So yeah, so my nose is plugged up today, so I apologize for that. I ran out of the, the stuff for my nose, so... Okay, well, you know what? Let's do a due diligence. That's Pirate Station Beta, so th there's an undiscovered station here. So let's just carry on and just go to the closest one, and then we'll just kind of always check underneath us for anything. And then we'll go to that one over here, all right? And then we'll see there's some, there's one over here, there's one over here. So there's a few that we can go to from that point, so let's let's do that. Um, there we go, plot path to current map. Since we are radar jammed, we could use the jump drive. Okay, just I always like to be in the direction I'm facing. I always like to be going a little bit of a, a speed. And let's do this. Let's start charging right away. No sound effects in this game yet. That's disappointing. Ooh, that's probably a pirate station. I'm just going to see if we can get hit. What kind of pirate station is this? Gamma, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. I wonder if it's like an easy station. Do you want to give it a shot? Well, yeah, we just need to know what's around here. There's, looks like some asteroids here. Some more asteroids here. Okay, well, let's go map. Let's go into the next. Uh, it says undiscovered. I don't want it undiscovered, though. It needs to be discovered. Is it because you have to fly close enough to it? 
So let's see what this one looks like. Our shields are holding up. So it's still, they still look similar, hey? This looks pretty cool. Like, see, this would be a neat station to take over. Oh, oh, how's our shields? No. They, they did shoot me, though, if you saw that punching. Uh, see, it's, I don't know what's wrong with the, this thing. It shouldn't be undiscovered. Well, whatever. It's a pirate station. Uh, maybe it just has to update. Side, side, bottom. Okay. Anyways, weird. Still says undiscovered, whatever. It's plot path to currents. Okay, let's make sure we're charged up. And we go to the new location. So yeah, so that's it. So that's the fun. We'll have to take out these things because they are annoying. And I don't know. I think once you take them out, there's a lot of blocks to to salvage. So if you saw like what I did with the pirate ships, once you blow them up and they're neutral, you can all of a sudden. Uh, this is another bad spot. <laughs> oh man, what's this one? This one's a beta. So basically, betas are a little bit stronger, right? Is my understanding? I, my understanding it goes alpha, beta, uh, A, B, C. There's a C one, one for C maybe, but like it goes down, it goes down. It goes like alpha, beta, delta, gamma, or something like that. And I think the gamma ones are easier than the, the alpha or the betas. Is my understanding, but I don't know. Let's fly by this one. Woo! See, this one looks different. One of these kinds. See, these ones look. Like weapons platforms, right? So, why don't they shoot me? It's not like we're going too fast. Okay, well, jump drive is done. So, it's undiscovered station. Is this, yeah, see, why is it still to say undiscovered? That's frustrating because you know I've been there. And this one says discovered. If, or do I have to turn off the radar jammer to count as being here then? Yeah, it's so weird. I wonder if that's just a bug or. If I'm not doing something right, you definitely comment below if you have more knowledge of that, of how that stuff gets discovered. So let's see here. So we're charged. Let's go to the new place. So I was going to look down here. This is a station here that's kind of close, but that's okay. So let's go. Let's head over to this one over here. This one seems to be... Yeah, and then we'll check these guys out over in the corner here. And otherwise, this is a good spot right here. If you think about, oh no, there's dang it, there's something right underneath. Basically, that sucks. Okay, so let's get out of the map and let's fly towards the waypoints. We're charged. Let's. Oh, I turned off my radar jammer. Let's let's warp. Let's recharge. Let's have a drink. Oh boy, what's going on here? Ooh. Whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> How close do we have to fly by this thing? Like right beside it for it to register? Let's just take a quick peek. Let's just fly right through this thing. Let's watch our shields are 100%. Whee! Punching. FX punching. So they have some punch through stuff. But see, it doesn't really do anything. So... We're still at 100%, so I think we should be able to handle the bases, basically. So let's warp. Bang, where are we? Or did I not have a location set? I did not have a location set, did I? Oh boy. Okay, well, let's... Where are we now? Yeah, okay, I was flying to this one, I thought. Or that was the base. I don't know, let's go to this one now. Ah, this is so confusing. <laughs> uh, today it is anyways. It's not usually, but let's just turn our ship around. We're charging. Uh, let's push forward to go in that direction. I wish there was a way, uh, like an indicator on the speed to, with a minus. So if your ship is going technically backwards, it should show up as a minus. So if you warp and turn your ship around I would say it should alter to minus so that way you know kind of like the the velocity direction it'd also be nice if there was a little indicator for 
your orientation in the space, right? You know, based on galactic, the galactic plane. So that'd be kind of cool as well. So let's teleport. Okay, let's hear. Waypoint. Ooh, we're far away from this one. It's interesting how that varies, right? Like the warp, you can warp, but we're still far away. Oh, you know, maybe just because it's a large distance. That's right. That's not why. <laughs> I thought maybe that, you know, it didn't put me close enough because it's kind of random, but I just realized that that thinking is incorrect. And so, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so here we are. We're going to warp. Bang. Always recharge. I'm not sure if I can make that charging faster. Uh, is this a shot? No, it's not a shot. It's another base. Yeah, okay. It's probably like a beta. Oh, this is a really different one. That's cool. Huh. Pirate Station Eta? Or Eta? Huh. That's a neat looking station. So it's another pirate station. So we got a lot of pirate stations in our sector. Or whatever you call these big squares. I like to call them s sectors because that just makes sense to me. But I guess the smaller ones are sectors as well. So it gets confusing. So I don't know. So a grid block. <laughs> oh, that's another station that has to load in. Pirate Station Alpha. See, these are supposedly the most superior ones, right? Okay, so that's... Yeah, so these are staying as undiscovered. That's frustrating. So let's go up this way, then. Let's see what this station looks like. Plot path to current. Continue... Oh, look at that. We are under fire, but we are recharging. Still under fire, maybe? Under fire rate, 14%. So everything's still charging. I don't think we're damaged at all, so that's okay. Charge, charge, charge. Okay, and then we're going to turn around to face our thing. We're going to warp. going to slow down a bit. going to recharge. Is this the waypoint? Ah, it's like it's the same spot. <laughs> Oh man, so many pirate stations. Can we get close to this one here? What's this one? Ah, oh, that is a pirate station. That's frustrating. How about... So let's check this one out. And let's recharge. So radio generator is now on. No, off. On. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Let's go towards this target here. And I'll meet you over there. Here we go, we are warping, poof. Okay, where are we? Oh, uh, it's a train station. So let's see, let's go towards the train station here. It's gonna kinda adjust myself, there we go. So let's head towards this train station. And we'll test the theory out. We're gonna hop out of the ship and see if it discovers this location. And if that's the case, then there's a problemo. And I hope this is recording okay. And I'm noticing on the, the screen here, it kind of looks not like what I see on my sh screen. So I might have to tweak some settings of the recording just to make them larger or whatever. But yeah. So yeah, so we're at this train station. So I tell you what, folks, I'm going to probably end the episode here. So I'm going to carry on with my journey, with my adventure, looking for more, more bases. And... You basically, when I come across something that's different, that's a derelict, then that will be the start of that episode. I'll, I'll wait to start the episode at that point, so that you don't miss anything. But all these kind of pirate stations and stuff, I think you already know what they're like. So, yeah, so there's, there's no point in really trying to redo that one. Let's kind of speed up a bit, so that way we can reach this trade station here and just kind of go by on it we're gonna go by to see what it looks like what it has and it's kind of realigned here we go folks at least at least they're smart enough to give me a parking space right here let's see here I'm gonna park like this let's see here 
Now if we go like this. So we zoom out. Yeah, there you go. I wish I could detach the camera. I just can't remember that that key. So it's like a function key or something. Or anyways, so let's hop out. So I'm gonna hop out. I'm gonna go map. See, it still says undiscovered station. So I don't know how to get it to be discovered. Do I have to use a scanner? Like, is that something that exists in this game? I don't know, but if you know, then you definitely make some comments, and yeah. So thank you everybody for watching, hope you've enjoyed this episode, in the next episode you hopefully see my new derelict that we're going to purchase together, and we're going to work on together, so yeah, so thank you everybody for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye bye!